So you leave school with no qualifications. That's right. How do you go from that to running a big factory, being an, you know, inventing new things, being an entrepreneur? Being lucky. Being lucky. Lucky is important. And I seem to have the knack of understanding how things work. And I did take an apprenticeship. Yep. And I did go to, uh, did further education for five years, one day and one night a week. Yep. The beauty of that was I was learning things I was doing at work. Whereas the university, you learn things that you might never do at work. So I think the benefit of training people, you need, we need education. We need education, what I'm saying. We need it. But it's got to be appropriate. And the beauty of doing an apprenticeship with I studied engineering, electrical engineering, yep. which I did at work as well. Do we encourage enough youngsters these days to go into things like engineering? No, I, I don't know. But it, there's even people that don't need apprenticeships. A lot of people who do the useful work in the country learn on the job. Even electricians. You don't learn that at school or university. You learn it on the job, right. working with another electrician. Mm -hmm. And education off the job, appropriate education. So most jobs that do useful things that we need to make our lives acceptable, producing food, making clothes, making washing machines, are done by people who learn the skills on the job. And it's about attitude more than actually skills. So your education came post official school, but you say working, doing night school, doing things like that. And, and, and did, you, did you kind of find the thing in life that you were good at? I always doubted myself, actually. I did think at one time not having a proper education was a weakness. And, and then I realised it was probably was a strength. Because <laughs> educate, formal, how, how could not having an education no, no, be a strength? No, learning's important. <laughs> but our formal education is a one-size-fits-all. Yeah. You know, we should look at development of kids, not educating them. Education is part of it. But the main thing is to educate kids from birth to adulthood. And it's all different. Different people with different parents need different development than people with good parents or different parents. So we need to think of it like development of the child, the individual child, rather one size fits all. You've got to pass an A level in maths and do quadratic equations, which you'll never ever use in your life. Well, it depends, but you're unlikely. Well, very few you're, people. you're unlikely to. Well, yeah. you could learn about that. Yeah. Now we've got so good means of, better means of learning on the internet. You can learn anything, actually, if, you want to learn, if you're interested in learning. Yeah. It's about learning, not being taught. You've got to want to learn. You've got to want to understand. I understand refrigeration very well. Never had any formal education on that. But I've read books about it, and I've played with it, and tried things, and looked at it, and thought about it. And that's how you really learn.